Okay, in this lesson, we're going to use Microsoft Publisher to create a poster. So the first thing you want to do is open up Microsoft Publisher. You're going to double click blank eight and a half by 11. Now, posters come in different sizes. By default, you have the eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So what you want to do, you want to go to page design and under size, here are commonly used sizes, which would be your legal, your portrait, but we're going to go down to create new page size. So you have the page width, eight and a half inches by the page height. 11. So posters typically come 16 by 20. You can do a 24 by 36. We are actually going to do a landscape. So instead of 24 by 36, we're going to go 36 inches as the width and the height, we're going to do 24. And then we're going to click OK. So this is a landscape. And I'm going to change the background so you guys can see. And in order to do that, you're going to take a look right here to the right. You're going to see background, the paint can. can. You're going to click on background. You're going to go all the way down to more backgrounds. And I like to do just a solid color background. And I like black. OK, so we have a solid black background for our poster right now. And with this poster, we're gonna keep it very simple. This is just the basics. Um, I've seen some other individuals, you can draw shapes and fill it. That could be your background. Um, so all these different shapes you can draw on your poster. But right now we're just gonna do a poster with just some basic text. We changed the background color to black. And now we're going to insert Word art, and I'm just going to select this style. I'm going to type the word vote. So we're just going to do a basic page uh, poster, just reminding students, staff, individuals to vote. So we have some text. Now, in order to edit this text, let's say you wanna, we got the text on here. You're gonna go up to the left where it says edit text. And here you can change the font style. So we're gonna change it. To Bookman old style. We can also format. You can shape fill, color the inside, and we can give it some outline color. So let me show you what that looks like. So it's probably going to be nice. You can tell the outline. If I weight it, you see, you can tell it's outlined yellow and I'm gonna shape fill it green. So we have vote. I'm going to do that again. So I went up to insert, word art. I selected a word art style. I typed the word vote. You can also change the font here as well. So we're gonna pick another font style, I'm going to go with Broadway. I'm going to click OK. You want to drag these little circles, click the corner. So we have vote, vote, and again, I'm going to shape fill it and give it a shape outline. So what you're learning right now it's just a basic poster with some text, with some word art. 
and you're learning to give it a shape outline color and a shape fill. And you're also learning to change the font style. So we're going to do it one last time. Insert word art. Select a word art style. And these are three different styles. I'm going to type the word vote. And I'm going to look for Comic Sans. I like Comic Sans. And I'm going to click OK. I'm going to make it large. I'm going to shape fill it. I'm actually going to keep the shape fill white and I'm going to give it a green outline. And I like to do a thicker six point weight so it's a little bit. So there's our first poster. So if you want to click it, you can use your mouse to move it around. What I find much easier, so I kind of eyeball it where I want it. And then I can use the arrow keys on the keyboard. So I'm moving it slowly to the left. I can move it slowly to the right using the arrow keys on the keyboard, up and down. So after I use the mouse, to move it, I can use these arrow keys to get it exactly where I want on the page. So, vote, vote, vote. So this is our poster. Now we're going to save it. You're gonna go up to File, Save As. I'm just going to save everything to the downloads folder. I'm going to change this to vote poster. And I like to put 36 by 24. And I'm going to hit save. Now, a lot of the times what we do, I like having our files instead of publisher files. I like to save this as a picture because we can use this in other future projects. We can insert this picture in a Word document. We can actually upload this design to Teespring, to Bonfire. We could create t-shirts and merchandise, uh, just like the t-shirt I'm wearing now. Uh, we could put this on a, on a t-shirt, upload it, and you can see that it could be a sticker, it could be a poster for the classroom, it could be a tapestry. And during that election time of year, you can uh, display this in your classroom. So in order to do that, you're going to go to File, Save As, and like just remember where you save it. I just put everything temporarily in the Downloads folder. I can keep the same file name, Vote Poster, but you want to change Save As Type. You're going to click where it says Publisher Files, and you're going to go down and save it as a picture. And then you're going to hit save. So now we just saved this as a picture. So if I were to insert a page, a blank page, and let's just say I'm going to have another poster, background color. I'm going to do a different background color, but of course a solid color. I'm going to go with the solid blue. Now, I want to insert that picture that we just created, that poster, and create another poster. So I'm going to go to Insert Picture. I save that picture to the Downloads folder. And this is it. This is the Vote poster. So now I have two posters. And I'm going to adjust this. And I could use the arrow keys to make it it so uh, we can keep that border. So now we have a second poster. Now, let's say you like this poster, but you want it a bright yellow background. It's very easy. You're going to right click on this poster. So once you design the first one, insert duplicate page, it's very easy 
to duplicate what you've worked on and just change. So now we have two, ex the exact same posters. I'm working on the third page. I'm going to change the background. So I'm gonna go over down to the background, under more backgrounds, and I'm going to change the background to a solid yellow. And there's the third poster. So once again, you're gonna right click on this poster, insert duplicate page. So it's inserting the same exact first poster to another page. And then here you can edit. This you can't edit because it's a picture, but we're just changing the background color. So you're just gonna go to page design, background, more backgrounds, and I'm gonna give it one last solid background, and now we have a few different images. I'm gonna save my work, and there you have your poster. This file you can just print. If you have a poster printer, you can even upload it to different companies, CVS, Walgreens, I know they all, um, Walmart, they have even staples, you can go to Copy Max in these places where you can just send your file and print your design, your poster out. And that's it. That's how you create a poster. The end.